Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. Is it possible to look and feel 10 years younger? Well, that's part of the conversation today. Daniel, Sean, welcome back. How are you doing? Excellent. Yes. Great. Uh, beautiful. Excited to have you back. Uh, Emotional Intelligence Mastery is the name of the company. You're a coach, uh, therapeutic breakthrough coach, I should say, and so much more. So let me first and foremost have you introduce yourself to everyone today before we get started. Excellent. I am Daniel Sean, and thank you for having me on the podcast. You are welcome. We are excited to have you back from Vancouver, correct? Is it Vancouver? Vancouver. Yeah, Vancouver. Perfect. BC. And the type of work that you focus on, could you just share a little bit more details of how you're not just a regular coach, not saying anything about the regular coach, but you're a neurotransformative therapeutic coach. Could you share what that is? Yeah, uh, I really bring people to uh, breakthroughs and having sort of significant insights and realizations about themselves, like in the moment and how they can take a more motivated, passionate action in their life change who they are on a fundamental level and ideally live with more happiness and more success and more opportunity and better relationships. Beautiful. And for today, we'll get started. Uh, the type of work you're doing. Let's talk about, yeah, can we really feel, look, act younger? <laughs> Could you share more <laughs> details on that? Yeah. Can we feel and and, and look 10 years younger? Uh, really, it's it's definitely possible. Mm -hmm. It's a lot about how we treat ourselves. It's a lot about living with uh, some of that childlike awe and wonder, but not childishness, childishness. It's being childlike and how we see the world is a big part of it. We get really ingrained in our beliefs and, and what we think. And we become a lot of men become very, very rigid in a redundancy of how they might live their lives, the same actions. Many of us can get in these traps, uh, feel like we want to burst out, feel like we want to come out of our shell and be more naturally expressive. So looking and feeling 10 years younger. Well, one thing is what we're putting in our bodies. Our gut biome is really directly connected to our mind and our heart and our consciousness. And if we're filling it with poison or lots of carcinogens or chemicals, we're just not going to feel very good. There's only so much we can do if we feel we're mentally accurate and acute and yeah. have a great emotional well-being, but like mind over matter does not matter over food. So it's one thing that we naturally change. It sounds a little bit different, but as we develop deeper self-worth, deeper self-love, we don't want to put that in our body. And so our nutrition habits start to change. That's one thing to starting to feel, get that glowing skin, get that radiance. And another thing is how we, the time that we use. So we're, we're going to spend less time of things that suck and drain our energy of binge watching shows of, you know, we want to be more interactive in life as we do this kind of evolutionary work. It's another thing that's going to make us and feel literally 10 years younger. Mm -hmm. I'm 41. And thankfully, I can, I've even had people still ID me, but that doesn't yeah. normally happen. But you know, you can carry literally that, that glow for life, the passion, and people really will notice it. You become more a higher magnet. And that's a direct thing to feeling and looking younger. Our, our electromagnetism, which literally we are very energetic and that's something that we have in us so the last one is a lot about in terms of that when we become adults we do a lot of adulting and that's great we want to take on responsibility we want to feel in power we want to feel in charge mm -hmm. the way that we make people feel is is the impression especially for women that is the lasting more impression for them we might have all the right information to say. We might want to be right. All of these things are not <laughs> in this way of living with more joy and mm -hmm. living with more of that ecstatic passion and being able to exude that. Men will, a lot of us will get stuck in our heads. And so this is a lot about living in that, in that feeling of, of feeling younger 
and the kinds of feelings that women will feed off from that in a very positive way. They'll want to spend more time. You're going to develop better quality relationships, but moreover to yourself. So this is a lot about understanding how we actually live with that youthful vitality, but we're still being very responsible. Got it. Now, would you say, what about healthy sexuality? You mentioned that to excel our potential success and relationship as well. Yeah, yeah. And it's really like an imperative part. It's, uh, we have a lot of other big mentors, influencers and teachers, and the types of things that they're teaching about will also be relative to who they are. So let's say a lot of people follow and listen to Louise Hay, who is incredible amazing it's a lot about manifestation but she doesn't talk a lot about sexuality it's because at some point she actually developed like cancer in her womb in her cervix and so it's a big component why she might not talk about that it's imperative that we heal our sexuality and it becomes very healthy and this would be counterintuitive for some people like oh um no, I want to be kind of maybe even more aggressive as a man with my sexuality or be kind of alpha. It's not bad to think that you are that way. It's more that if we don't heal our sexuality, so cutting out pornography or the types of porn that you're using uh, for men like sexual mastery, like using semen retention for women, this can come to, I know a really good friend of mine who does uh, yoni lifting. So lifting heavy objects with her vagina and it's it's actually literally given her like almost like natural botox treatments to her face she looks very young she feels very youthful this stuff can change you literally from the inside out and it might be very taboo in some cultures or some countries might think well that's really odd that's strange someone would do that well they're getting incredible results really quick <laughs> so it's kind of hard to deny that so that's why it's so important. And on a, let's say a very practical level, lots of us are doused in social anxiety. That social anxiety is direct, directly related to your sexuality. So uh, when we have that hyper focus on another person, we're having social anxiety. What are they gonna think of me? What are they gonna say? What's the impression I'm gonna leave with them? All of a sudden we're in our head. We're not really acting. We're overthinking. And this is a lot about being in the mind too much, not in our body and, and not really coming from a sense of intimacy. So the social anxiety kills people's ability to take action in the moment. They're going to think, am I good enough? Uh, what impression am I leaving on them? And the focus of how someone else has experienced us comes from like a real and full comfortable experience that we are experiencing with them. We're relating to them and this will help us to literally help heal sexuality, sensuality being more expressive. We don't have to feel like we're, people will look for ever evidence to critique people in this social anxiety way and looking to be overly critical mm -hmm. to try and like point something out a flaw. It's not, terribly bad to be that way but recognize when we meet each other like in person we're looking each other in the eyes there's no sense of so social anxiety it doesn't have to be performative as a man and that's how we become more embodied it's like rather who am i and who am, rather than who am i according to them it's a big difference yeah and that's it's a lot about how social anxiety plays into sexuality and we can have better quality relationships and all of a sudden you start attracting more opportunities in your business mm -hmm. you're not afraid to take a risk to go ask a confidant to go ask a peer uh, a mentor a superior a supervisor for this I had like a raise I really worked hard for this these last three months like I was the employee of the month this last month or I have this innovative idea and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna spiel it to you because I believe this can actually improve the benefit of the company. So many employers, employees don't necessarily take those risks, they just do their job. So it's a big thing around our sexual health. We're gonna take those risks. I'm also gonna deal with the consequences. So it's a big thing about under why it's imperative that me as a coach, how I work with people is on a personal level 
to do with sexuality that some coaches don't go down that that way okay well any more reasons in particular that people should work with you right there's yeah. some great results some great stories if you wanted to share more yes okay which is this is great i mean it's a lot to do with using our imagination and being able to use it in the real real world like literally when we get ingrained with our like who we think we are our natural thoughts our emotions our behavior that's only accounting for like 10 percent of our conscious brain so 10 percent of what we're usually using we have 50 to 60 thousand thoughts per day and about 90 percent of them are the same <laughs> like i go to work what am i going to cook for dinner tonight da, 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 da. go to sleep go back to work we want to start changing that and, and live with more spontaneity and do things that push our comfort zone because the other 90 percent that's not the 10 percent is our subconscious and we're that's the massive storehouse of our information. We're bringing the subconscious thoughts, behavior, and beliefs into real life. Well, all of a sudden, people could think like, well, I have some pretty weird or dark or uh, I really want to act this out. Well, in a way, you actually will want to act that out. It will just be healthy. <laughs> it won't be coming from that dark place because you're bringing it into conscious action, into real life actions that you're taking. And you're learning to trust yourself on a way deeper level to act out your subconscious desires, fantasies, abilities, and ways that you command and speak your voice. And it changes. So it's a really powerful thing that we just bring out that not, all of the imagination stuff we want, all of the different. Got it. And any other results, any other reasons you want to share? Finding or enhancing or discovering your life purpose. My God, like people get lost in this. The reason why anxiety exists is we do not have a direction. We do not have a choice point to make that feels like we're moving forward. And like that's that's why anxiety exists. I don't really ever get anxiety in more tiny bits. Same thing with worry or concern. This might be a little hard for people to take in. Worry and concern is optional and avoidable. Okay. Completely. When we want to worry about something, we're concerned for it's going to be okay. It's going to yeah. be safe. I would think the only thing that could worry me is the safety of my daughter. If she was in a, a had a threat or a mm. danger, I would, that's something as a father, I would be yeah. to take some action directly. Otherwise for our own health safety, when we learn to trust ourselves in this way, all of a sudden we really become like super confident. We become a kind of super version of ourselves. And we just don't worry. I just don't. And now that took me a while. That took me a few years to really incorporate that, to challenge that in myself. A lot about our inner critic. So worry is optional and avoidable. We don't have to. And if people did like three or four sessions with me, I bet you if worry is a big thing for them, it would like start to literally go away, it would melt away in their life. And all of a sudden you're just not spending time worrying. You're way more self-assured. So that's a really good thing. Finding your life purpose. Um, and increased self-confidence and improved self-worth. So even for guys that are killing it, maybe you got several girlfriends or you live in the life, ah. women that are killing it in their career, they're making like, Sig figures, this can even increase your self-worth. I've worked with business owners or people that might have some mental health or a little bit of addiction issues. This is massively going to increase your self-worth. You're no longer going to be afflicted by those addictions. You're going to kill your inner critic and annihilate social anxiety. Mm -hmm. Literally. And the way you're going to do that is it's going to be fun little challenges. I'm going to bring you through role-playing and ways that you're going to actively live out Ask more women out. No fear of rejection, men. Ladies, you're going to attract better, higher quality men that treat you way better. And that's a big thing about killing, uh, annihilating social anxiety. Knowing or enhancing, discovering your purpose. I just said that one. There's ways we can discover yeah. that if you already know it. 
develop insatiable passion and work ethic. Because when your purpose is realized, <laughs> all you want to do is take incredible, motivated, passionate pursuit of this purpose that now you're living day to day. You get out of bed like you're a 12 year old. You, <laughs> you just burst out of bed. You have so much energy and you're using that creative to be successful and define your own version of success. So incredible passion and work ethic. And now one of the best ones is developing a tangible feeling of what some people want to call, let's say, self-love. A tangible feeling of love that you have for yourself that you always can feel that never goes away. You really don't ever feel lonely. You never get depressed. I know these sound like but how can it not be possible? It's totally possible. The person that's going through my program are seeing incredible results. She's about eight weeks in now. Um, she's already left her husband of 18 years that she's already energetically left years ago. And she's living an entirely different life in two months. <laughs> she's starting to date. Uh, she's starting to understand what uh, sensual self embodiment is as a woman. And holding deeper boundaries and getting high quality dates. <laughs> so there's all these ways that we can live with a more natural self-expression. And I'd say that's one of the biggest goals of this purpose and your self-expression. Mm -hmm. So those are five ways in which people will see results in, in working with me and why I'm passionate about this. Beautiful. All right. And how can you be sure that people will, you know, definitely receive the transformations and the results that they want? Good question. They're like a money back guarantee. It is. And See? I give the money back guarantee. So wow. results guaranteed, which is, it's going to be different for everyone. Some people have only a certain amount of commitment to themselves. Some people only think they have so much time, you know, maybe they're very, very busy, but we do we will make time for things that are important for us. This is a big one, which is when I'm bringing these people to their subconscious beliefs about what they believe about themselves and how that can change. It's, it's like bioengineering our actions backwards. So that's what we do in life. We take actions. Those are our actions. And the actions are stemmed from our habits. So we have these kind of normal habits that we have ingrained in us. These are why we take those actions. So now we got to go step further back, which is into our beliefs. And so the beliefs are contributing to the habits of the actions that we take, what we believe, what we think is possible. So that's now all of a sudden we're starting to release limiting beliefs into our true potential. That's what I kind of mean by that. The limiting beliefs hold us back, hold us back either consciously or subconsciously. We won't take that risk. And then we go step back into our stories because the stories came to uh, inform our beliefs of the habits and the actions that we take. And we can get locked in our stories. There are a lot of people that are locked. This is my trauma story. This is what happened. This is a terrible experience I've been through. And you'll see that if they keep telling the same stories, they're cycling the same thing. One way that you know that you can be free in this way is when you tell the story, it doesn't affect you at all in a negative way. You are free from that. I've had terrible experiences. I had a woman rip me off for $30,000 in a three-year relationship. We were supposed to start a business and she deeply betrayed me. That was my story for about a year. That was, ah, oh, I've been through this horrible relationship and I couldn't believe this woman treated me this way. It's terrible. Like who is capable of doing this? Once I dropped that, it no longer affected me in that negative way. And it all comes back to the ID level. So in that, the five ways it's actions back into our habits change, back into the beliefs that change, our stories literally change, our perspective of those stories, how we reframe them. And then we change on an ID level, like someone that says, I'm a uh, 
chartered accountant, but I've always wanted to be an actor. They'll see like in a few months time, they'll be going to acting school and playing that part of himself. And then it's like a slow transformation that they could play Kate out over a couple of years to literally become a successful or semi-successful certified actor or whatever they want to choose. It's usually something that's more on the expressive side that they've chosen a job out of strictly job security and to make money. And that's how I help to change people on the ID level, who they really know and think that they are. And that's something that I also am, am living myself. So yeah, that's how people can really know that they're going to receive those transformations, bring them to these choice points, what they believe about themselves, and those will change. No more negative beliefs, uh, positive reframing, and ability to really just always get something done. <laughs> when you say you're going to do something, you do it. And, and women love that when men can stick to their word. So it's a lot of how we change ourselves. We sure do. We appreciate that. I think anyone does. I'm that type of person, you know, you say you're going to do something, you do it, you follow through. I don't, I, 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 that's that person I am. And I expect that from other people. If not, I feel let down, disappointed. And I just don't, I don't understand that, but I would think we'd all would want that, but all right. So each his own. Some of us are, are we're, we tell little white lies, you know, mm -hmm. and, and people do this. Some lie more than others. Uh, but yeah. boy, oh boy, it feels really good when you own the reality of your life and you don't have to lie. And your life is that passionate and exuberant and, and lit up. I believe we need a lot more natural excitement for things that we look forward to in life. So, Got it. Yeah. All right. And in closing today, what did you want to uh, leave with? Well, I'm so appreciative to being here on the Professional Podcast Network. Thank you so much, Jill. You're such a great interviewer. Uh, is this our last time together? I know. It's the fifth Oh, one. it is? I didn't know. I just asked that. Okay. Oh, okay. I was like, Maybe is it? We'll you're, like, sounds like you're saying goodbye. I didn't know. Okay. Yeah. So www.danielshawn, D-A-N-I-E-L-S-E-A-N.ca. I encourage people to reach out. You can book. It's super easy. You just click the link. And it's a 45 minute complimentary session. I guarantee that you're going to have a breakthrough in that. And it's your choice if you want to work beyond that. There's no pressure. Um, and that's how I just develop a really great organic client base. And I'm really looking forward to the people that are going to hear this, that how much lit up and passion and life, literally um, that feeling of that exuberant life that they can have a richness of life back into their everyday lives. So thank you for having me on here. I really appreciate it. Thank you for being here. All right. And pleasure having you here. And uh, till next time, we'll say, we won't say goodbye. And one yes. more time, money back guarantee. Tell us the website one more time. Yep. www.danielshawn.ca, D-A-N-I-E-L-S-E-A-N.ca. Click the link, book a session. I will change your life for your best potential. Beautiful. Thank you so much. Have a fantastic day. Are you looking for even more of the podcasts and hosts that you love? The Podcast Business News Network is proud to announce that you now have even more ways to listen live. Check out the MyTuner Radio, Online Radio Box, and Simple Radio apps on iOS and Android, or find us online. Search for Business News Network on MyTuner-Radio.com, or search Podcast Business News Network on Streama.com and OnlineRadioBox.com slash US. Take your podcast on the go and don't miss a minute of the action. Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. For nearly 2,000 severely injured veterans, everyday life has become filled with barriers. Day-to-day -day simple tasks can become pretty daunting. I have to carry my chair up two flights of steps or have somebody do it for me. What scares me the most is just the falling. When I'm struggling with my house, I think, you know, to have that one great barrier just knocked down, I mean, it's... It's crucial. Home for Our Troops is a wonderful nonprofit that builds a mortgage free, fully adaptive, handicap accessible house, and there's no catch. It'll be our very first home that we've ever owned. This is a game changer. This is where your life begins again. 
We need you to join us in completing this important mission. Please visit hfotusa.org and help build homes and rebuild lives. Because of you, everything's going to be okay.